Mark here and welcome to the 10 Acre Woods. Uh, so today we're going to start inside and we're going to uh, talk a little bit about our inside animals, uh, namely our cats and dogs. Uh, all of our cats are rescued animals and we have a new boy here and this is Damon. So the cats basically started out with Nix. Hey Nix! Uh, Nix here uh, has been with us two years uh, and she was found uh, in January two years ago uh, in um, in a ditch and somebody brought her to us she was tied up uh, people don't like black cats obviously uh, so she has done very well uh, and then moving along we have Anara now Anara showed up and we seen her poking around and we finally brought her in last summer, last uh, probably springish, and uh, we brought her in and noticed that she had, uh, she was nursing. So we put her back out and shortly after that we had, where is she? <laughs> She's, <laughs> this is, this is the shy one. This is Rhea. Hi Rhea. So she's the shy one of the bunch. Uh, and then we have the boy kitten, which is Lucifer. And Lucifer is quite large, a very distinctive face, almost looks like a black panther, and an extremely long tail. Hey, is that your tail? <laughs> so he is the one that goes crazy for any kind of lights on the ceiling, uh, lasers, uh, so he's a little hunter. Uh, and then, uh, of course, Damon. So Damon, oh, he's just eating now. Uh, so we had seen him over, well, the course of weeks, the past few weeks anyway. Uh, and Tara's been uh, trying to catch him. Uh, so what we did is we set up a live trap at the back door. We've been and, feeding him uh, for about a month. Put some food in there, yeah. So enticing him to come to the back door. And uh, then we put the food inside the live trap. And we got him. He's a chunky monkey. And then, of course, once we, once we did catch him, we realized how friendly he is. <laughs> Very matted. Uh, so all of the cats went in to get uh, to get the vet check, and Damon here had worms. Uh, so he's been in isolation for a little while uh, to expel those. And today is the first day that he's out. So those are the cats. His ears, he's got a little frostbite. Yeah, he's from, got yeah, uh, some frostbite. frostbite on there. So, but it doesn't seem to mind him now. So, so he's happy. <laughs> uh, so something else we did, uh, Tara went and designed this, uh, what is it, a grass, a grass, a cat grass, I guess. <laughs> uh, and this is actually a rubber mat for shoes. Uh, so it's about uh, an inch and a half thick. I'm getting rubbed on here. <laughs> hey? <laughs> yes. Oh boy. Uh, so it's an inch and a half thick and then she put the wire over top of it and she has put in oats. So these are all oats in here. Uh, there are a couple circles. A little There's clover too. I put in clover somewhere. Three circles and she put catnip yep. uh, inside here to grow. Uh, and so, they love it. Yeah. Lucifer tends to spend lots of time on it. Just relaxing and lying down. What now, out that? of curiosity, we do believe that uh, Damon is the dad to these kids. Yeah. So we're pretty sure that this is daddy and this is his son. <laughs> uh, which... Uh, they don't quite get along great at the moment because, of course, this is, uh, well, well, it's only been a, a couple hours, really. I think as far as cats, this would be great. Yeah, I guess Cause so. Because they're not, yeah. <laughs> Lucifer doesn't seem to mind too, too you much. Follow, you can follow. Don't you, bud? He likes the grass. You like your grass? <laughs> <laughs> you like your grass. Hey. So I did a time lapse on the growth of the, uh, of the seeds. And it didn't really turn out that well because we kept on getting cats in, <laughs> uh, disturbing the camera. And of course the time lapse was supposed to go over two or three days. 
and uh, well I only did I think about 24 hours having to continuously reposition the camera each time so then we move to our dogs so this here's Maggie hi Maggie Maggie's uh, seven I think we we figured uh, and she is a female West Highland white terrier um, she's not too bad with the cats uh, but our males, which are outside, which we'll get to in a minute, uh, they are um, they're a little bit more aggressive. So we want to make sure that uh, that everybody's kind of settled in here, and uh, <laughs> and everything's good before we let uh, let the boys in to check things out. Plus, if the boys are in, we probably wouldn't see Damon because wow. he would take off underneath the uh, the cupboard. I did get some. Uh, photos earlier of Maggie and Damon nose to nose, so she was checking him out, uh, and she's a little bit more gentle than the boys. He's so cute. So last night Tara had redesigned our cat trees. So we have well, this was the first cat tree we had, and then Tara found uh, online what was it? It was um, forty-three bucks um, Wayfair. Wayfair. So. Uh, these units here, so she got uh, these two, but they were a little flimsy. Wobbly, yeah. Or like wobbly. With the amount of five, five cats, they like... Yeah, running and running jumping. Running all over them, and maybe you're afraid... Of, so I screwed them to the counter at first, but they were still wobbly, so now they're screwed to the wall. Yeah, so she had actually <laughs> screwed right through into here uh, and screwed that to the wall, and then she went and she put the top piece on. And that's where uh, Rhea's sitting right now. <laughs> so now they're not going to knock it over. <laughs> so how do we tell the difference between them? Oh. Well, Rhea is uh, slightly fluffy, has a little bit of fluff to her, and she's always a little skittish, wide eyes. <laughs> has a more compact face. Yeah, has a more compact face. Lucifer is just, well, he's just... He's got a very he's, long he's a, tail, yeah. maker. Longer face and darker eyes. <laughs> and he's quite a bit larger. <laughs> and you can tell by his temperament. And then Rhea, wherever she went. You mean Anara. Uh, oh, Anara, no, Nara, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cats, cats. <laughs> uh, so Nyx has, has the... hair, like almost like here, and the white tip there. And... Well, these guys yeah. have it too. Well, and it's mainly the it's face. She's got a short face. She right? She too many windows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh... And then she's got a little bit of white on her chest yeah. and, and uh, the tip of her tail. Yeah. Oop. Oop. Right on the tip. And then Nara, Nara, is, Nara, Nara, Nara is, is fluffy. fluffy. But not as fluffy. Not as fluffy as Damon. On her tail. Uh, Damon has Damon's this. On he's got neck. this big mane going on here. <laughs> but he's going to need some, uh, some brushing he's from time He's almost got the look of a Maine Coon. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, Atlas and Toby. So now Toby is looking for They can it. smell it. Yep, looking for the new one. The new one doesn't care, though. Like, Damon doesn't care. No. He's not scared of them. He seems pretty good. They just want to check them out. It's a new smell. Atlas doesn't have a problem. <laughs> Toby's a little shorter. <laughs> oh. Lucifer gave Was that a, a Lucifer hiss? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, of course, Toby's a West Highland White Terrier as well as Maggie. And Atlas is a Bernese Mountain Dog. <laughs> a goofy Bernese. <laughs> what is that? You guys behave. Uh, the problem we've found is uh, when the cats run or hiss or something dramatic happens, then of course the dogs will chase. Uh, so, but there's That's a lot awesome. of there's a lot of areas around that the cats can go uh, to get away from the dogs, and it's just going to take time. Uh, it's only been what a few months that we've had Mama and the kittens. Oh, did you get that Atlas? <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> Look up top. Oh, her eyes are big. 
was like, what was that? Says, what's going on? So before we go outside, I just wanted to uh, mention a few other things. Uh, so with the cats, what we found that works really well, uh, instead of kitty litter, is we use this here. And these are hardwood uh, pellets for fireplaces. Now when this breaks down, it turns into basically sawdust. a sawdust. Uh, and it smells pretty nice. Uh, it actually covers up the uh, ammonia smell quite well. Um, at the ammonia smell that you're getting a lot from the cat urines is... Uh, Oops, now I'm really? dropping, I'm dropping is, it uh, all over. Is more due to the litter that they're in. A lot of vets now will recommend uh, going to a wood pellet after surgeries. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's, if, if you get your cats on it, it is also a lot cheaper. And uh, it can go directly outside with no worries of the other dog, if you have a dog that likes to get into your cat litter. The clay makeup of most cat litters is not going to hurt them. It's just wood. Yeah, so it's really nice all around. Yeah, so there we go. Um, so the other thing is we do, well, spring coming, we do seed swapping. Uh, so Tara has been getting ready with seeds. Uh, so yeah. here is, uh, she's, she's made up all these labels. Well, Everything's got follow, labels. Those that follow you kind of know what happened to my garden last year. Yeah. I love gardening, absolutely love it, and want to be the best at it because I want to eat what we grow. But last year we put a deer in the garden, so I swore I wouldn't do that this year. Well, spring's, <laughs> you know, a little bit of ways, but I'll build another pen. So this year, um, we're actually going to hold a seed swap every, every month. We're going to hold some sort of seed gardening uh, get-together. The first one being the seed swap. So these are, uh, we're going to a lot of eating your natural garden and what you grow at home. Um, so a lot of the bee bombs and stuff, they're very medicinal. Um, along with, these are all your, oh, uh, this is cat friendly territory, right? You gotta close <laughs> everything in. Um, these are, so all your vet, your, your peas and squashes and all that kind of stuff. So the first one, in this, in February, February 15th, um, people will come and we share stories and swap things. And so we sell them, you know, a buck a, buck a pack. Um, if any of you guys want some, send me a list and I'll send you a package uh, with whatever you're interested in. Neat one this year is we got, actually got uh, catalpa tree seeds. Uh, so we're going to try to grow some uh, cigar cigar tree uh, which is cool and uh, a lot of this a lot of your natural herbs and stuff um, if you grow them in your yard then you'll have them forever in your yard because a lot of them are annuals and you just harvest what's actually outside Tiana's really into teas and stuff so um, getting that uh, is cool we do buy from Baker uh, and uh, Baker seeds, but also trade a lot of uh, from people that have been growing and gardening for years also share their seeds with me. The fridge is cool because that's all our flowers. So these are all harvested from our garden, uh, things that we have in our yard. And then I harvest the seeds every year and uh, share them. You know, friends share that kind of stuff. Milkweed is one of the most popular. We give this away at our seed swaps. So that's to, for the monarch butterfly, and uh, it's just fun. You know, it shouldn't cost you a huge amount of money to have a beautiful garden, so we share and swap. Now, I did and spot something that some of you may have spotted as well while we were over here. Um, these paintings here. So Tara, tell us about these paintings. These were done um, by one of our followers, and... Uh, she does, she will we'll use them as a fundraiser. So we will actually um, sell them uh, $25 a piece to help raise money for the animals. So they're all of the animals of the 10 acre woods. And what they are is they're, they're a printed painting. So it's a photo slash painting, which is actually really cool and we'll probably use it as one of our uh, um, classes. classes 
because it's uh, they're extremely lifelike. They totally look like our animals, which is amazing. So if anybody's interested in those, let let us know. And uh, yeah, if you look closely here, you can see the paper. So she printed off in color and then put this on and then essentially just painted over top of it. Uh, so that's uh, it kind looks of a... like a painting, an oil painting with just a like almost like a they're very lifelike. I uh, really yeah. nice. And then you can add what detail, you know, but yeah, so we'll be selling those this summer just to put back and give back to the animals. So when heading out to uh, the animals, uh, somebody asked about the boy rabbit area, which I kind of missed in the last video. Um, and somebody had just, I just did a comment uh, that was about Daisy. So Daisy, is, of course, is the pony that came in uh, last year, really bad feet. Uh, and it was uh, vintage lilac paper is the, uh, uh, is the person who commented. Uh, and they just asked about Daisy and um, is she going to remain with us? Uh, so she will remain with us for at least another year. Uh, her feet are still recovering, so we're not quite sure. We're, we're hoping that she'll be good by the end of the summer. Um, but we'll keep her here uh, until her recovery process is complete. Uh, and then we'll look for, uh, you know, if the right person comes along uh, that she fits with, uh, then she may, may be rehomed at that time. Uh, we do have plans for some miniature horses, I think, coming in. Or miniature donkeys, the little guys. Uh, so we may have some of those coming in. I think we've got some pigs, some more pigs that may be coming in. Uh, so it's going to be uh, pretty busy and for us to be able to help all these animals that need help, uh, we have to kind of do some shuffling uh, and we have to, uh, the rehoming process is part of that. Uh, so the boy rabbits are in here and this was an old shed we had. Just goes to show you can turn anything into a uh, <laughs> <laughs> into a uh, uh, an, an animal area. Hey, how you doing, buddy? You guys are wet. Yeah, it's it's been warm the last little while. So look at this. How did you get up there? <laughs> we had to put this grill over it um, because we didn't want them to fall in and not be able to get out. That's the uh, the food container in there. Uh, so they have done, it looks like we will have to uh, do some work on this building, uh, which I've been meaning to for, uh, for some time now, but uh, they've been chewing holes in the side of the building. Uh, they need their wood. They like chewing on their wood. So these are the boys separated from the girls. Uh, and we'll go over on this side here and we'll be able to see the outside run that they go in. And here it is. So they've got lots of little things to get into, lots of little containers to go under. Uh, they've got, this is kind of an old dog house that we had, so they've got that. It's full of hay in there. A uh, little tube to go through. Look at all the poop, you guys. Oh. <laughs> yeah, winter time in Manitoba. It's, uh, so we'll clean all that up in the spring. Um, the, uh, we, we add hay when, uh, when required. We'll throw some more hay in there. It's just been so damp. It was actually raining this morning. Uh, so that's probably why they're a little damp and a little wet. Uh, so this here we put uh, to cover up that tree so they didn't chew that tree. And this was part of last year's uh, find. We actually got a bunch of uh, building materials or a bunch of shelving materials from uh, a store that was shutting down. Uh, so we've got a whole bunch of that and Tara's just uh, hooked it up with zip ties on there. Uh, so that is the rabbit run. So I was just locking up the door and uh, something interesting to point out. So this little hole down here that goes underneath, uh, this is where the wild rabbits uh, go. So the wild rabbits are usually underneath. Uh, it doesn't matter if the wild rabbits and the domestic rabbits get together uh, because they can't, uh, they can't breed. Uh, so wild and domestic uh, rabbits cannot breed. So that's an interesting fact. Ooh, it's starting to snow now. It was raining this morning, now it's snowing. Hey boys, so you got a nice bed of, uh, of hay there, keep your tootsies warm. So Carl and Billy, they've got their little house, they've been doing well. They, uh, we were concerned when we put them back up front here uh, that they were going to escape, but uh, they seem pretty content with their buddy Levi. Uh, and then I did notice the donkeys, oh, <laughs> there's... Uh, 
there's Chinook's head uh, just kind of peeking out. <laughs> So they're still a little shy, uh, Chinook and Esme. And there they are back there. Uh, so they'll generally be in this uh, building here. What do you think, Levi? Hey, what do you think? You want to say hi? Hi, bud. Yeah. My big little teddy bear, right? Aren't you? <laughs> Uh, so with other equine coming in, uh, our plans for this, uh, this summer are to uh, build another one of these. Uh, so the plan was to build a, a duplicate of it in reverse, uh, but when Tara built or designed this, um, this section here, uh, it's, it's kind of encroaching over on that area. Uh, so what we'll have to do is we'll have to shift it likely, uh, and that will come across and probably start about here. Uh, and then maybe that's not so bad. Maybe we'll just stagger them. Uh, so they'll be kind of interlocking and staggered. Uh, and then we'll have a few uh, other areas for them. So coming into the uh, duck, chicken, rabbit, rooster area. <laughs> uh, somebody had mentioned, well, it doesn't look like they have a whole lot of room. Uh, but of course, when I come in here, they all scurry into that side. Uh, so we've got, well, four roosters over here on this side. <laughs> uh, so that's why it looks a little bit crammed. Uh, but we have plans for this area as well. Uh, so since we built on this area in here that goes, uh, houses our hay in here, uh, and then, of course, there's that horse building there. Uh, so we're going to be redesigning a few things in here uh, just to make sure that these guys uh, do get uh, lots of uh, lots of area. Uh, but we don't want to give them too much area because there's uh, no point in trying to keep them warm if you're trying to uh, keep a large, in, uh, large area uh, heated. And so they do fine in here. Uh, they get their water. They get their feed. feed. How are you guys doing? Yes, you want spring to come. Yes, I know. It's much nicer to be out around a pond than inside in the winter. But hey, you know, you're in Manitoba. It's cold here. <laughs> uh, uh, rabbits. Uh, and, of course, some of the roosters uh, jump in there as well. Uh, so it looks like the rabbits are just kind of hanging out. Ooh, you gonna make it? Oh, you made it. Uh, so the rabbits are in here, uh, all cuddling up. It has, has been kind of humid, as I mentioned, it did rain. It was really foggy this morning. Uh, so I think everybody's kind of uh, inside. I don't want to go out into the, uh, the cold too, too much. How's my sheeps doing? <laughs> hey? Uh, Lambert and Tinker and Willow. Oh, and there's Shadow. Shadows out. So, um, Tara and I have been discussing about uh, these, well, these three. Hi, how you doing, Meadow? <laughs> uh, we decided that uh, I think what we're going to do is once it warms up a little bit, uh, we're going to put Meadow up front with her daddy and uh, see how she does there. Hey, you haven't met your dad yet, have you? Yes. Um, a little bit more your size and with a little bit more energy, uh, about, about uh, matching your energy, right? <laughs> uh, she usually, not so much her mother, she doesn't bother her mother too much, but she does uh, try to get Shadow to play. Uh, so of course, uh, if you've been watching the videos, you've seen some of that action happening. Uh, so I think we're going to try to uh, move some animals around, maybe eventually get all the equine up front. Uh, with the exception of Daisy, because uh, Daisy, of course, is in uh, recovery mode. Yeah. All right, going inside here. Everybody just wants to stay inside for, uh, for the winter time, right, Paula? Yes. So you guys are doing good in here. Uh, sometimes I do see them outside. There's Daisy there. Daisy. Daisy. Daisy, hey. Come here. Come here, Daisy. Yes. You want spring too, don't you? Oh, how's the girl, hey? Yes. Hey? So she's extremely friendly and she would actually work out very well back here because we do have visitors that come in uh, to pet the animals. Uh, and she, uh, she would actually do very well in that... Uh, 
in that uh, area. Okay, we have... Who's that? Is that Turbo? No, that's Tinker. I thought Tinker was outside. Uh, and then we have Petunia back there. Uh, and Blackie. And Bronwyn. Hey, girl. Whoa, and pigeons flying across the head. And Hannibal. And the pigs. <laughs> oh, you guys are just funny. <laughs> Uh, so somebody asked about uh, Petunia, which is over here. Uh, how is she doing um, without her mother around? So her mother was, uh, very, her, her and her mother were very close. Uh, and of course her mother passed away uh, just fairly recently. So um, her daughter is actually inside the building, which we'll go in and see right away. And that's Billie Jean. So coming inside, we have uh, some of the inside roosters, which is Henry here. And uh, we've got Atlas here. Oh, well, there you go. Nice little display. And of course, Fernando. Nice feathers, buddy. Looks like you're all ready for spring. Uh, and his uh, ducks and hens. So these are the Muscovy ducks uh, that are inside because it's just too cold for them to be outside. Uh, and then we have Petunia. No, we have Petunia's baby. Sorry, Billy Jean. <laughs> Uh, you ready to see your mama? Yes, we're all ready for spring to come. Uh, and Holly. Hi, Holly. Yes. You're a cutie. Uh, and then, of course, we have Hazel. So the little Hazel over there. And Moira. Hi, Moira. How are you doing, girl? Nothing. <laughs> no reaction at all. Uh, and George and Sheldon. Looks like the guineas aren't, uh, aren't loud. I picked a good time to come in here. Usually they're squawking pretty good. Uh, so yeah, we're just waiting until probably the end of March uh, when we can um, let these guys back out. End of, end of March or early April, uh, we will uh, bring these guys outside and uh, do some rearranging. And that's when the warmer weather's coming. Can't wait. Uh, and then we have the pigs here. Uh, and their little chicken friends, and one rooster. Uh, so these are the uh, hens and rooster that were rescued from a fire uh, from a neighboring farm in the area uh, a couple weeks ago. So we just kind of put them in here and uh, that's where they're gonna hang out until they can get all sorted with their, uh, with their hen house. So that is it. Got a couple pigeons in here and the peafowl. And of course, again, Fernando. Yes, I heard you, Fernando. <laughs> Always wanting attention. Uh, so that is it for this video. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, just a little look at the cats. Uh, usually I don't do too much with inside, uh, but of course we're inside a lot this time of year, uh, just because it's so cold outside. We're itching to get out and do some of these projects. Uh, so if you're not a subscriber, uh, click on that subscribe button and uh, see what we're all about. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care and have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.